All right, we're going to talk today about using next best action on a scheduled basis. Why might you want to do that? Well, suppose that you have an NBA strategy that's designed to run on account record pages and it generates insights and recommendations specific to a given account. But your salespeople have 50 accounts each and in order for them to see those recommendations, they have to visit the account page and they don't want to have to go to all 50 of those account pages day after day just to see if there are new recommendations. So how, what can you do about this? So in the solution we're looking at here, we have a two-part process. Every night, a scheduled flow runs. And when that flow runs, it kicks off a recommendation strategy for each active account in the organization. So it basically crunches through a long list of accounts. And for each account, it says, go get me the recommendations for this account. And this can be, uh, well, this can take a long time, uh, but we're doing it in the middle of the night so we could spread it out. We're not gonna run into any uh, load issues. And when this flow gets results back for a given account, what it does is it looks at the count, the number of recommendations that have been returned. Because it, it really, this, this nighttime batch job is really only concerned with finding out whether there is at least one active recommendation for a particular account. Because this, this, this nighttime process is really about discovery. So if it gets back at least one recommendation, it's going to set a checkbox to true on that particular account record. And I've called that account field checkbox has available insight. Uh, the recommendations themselves are thrown away. They're basically just discarded by this nighttime uh, process. Uh, all it cares about is updating the accounts. Now, when the salesperson comes in the next morning, instead of starting visiting all 50 account pages, they go to their home page. And on their home page, there's an NBA strategy running. Now, it's a different NBA strategy than the one that ran at night. This NBA strategy uh, looks at the same set of accounts, but it simply looks to see whether this checkbox is checked. So it is going to generate a task list for every account that has this checkbox checked. It basically generates a recommendation that says, hey, this account has something interesting. You should take a look at it. Uh, and when they click on those recommendations, the they're simply taken to the account page. So they're taken uh, to immediately to the account page using a flow action that's good for navigating. And then once they get to the account page, the NBA strategy, a third strategy essentially runs, and this strategy is really the same as the strategy that ran in the middle of the night. But this time, we don't care about the count, we care about the actual recommendations. And in this example, uh, what the core strategy cares about is whether uh, the account is close to an expiration date and there needs to be a renewal conversation. So the actual insights are now available and the user, uh, the salesperson hasn't had to go visit every page. Uh, and let's take a quick look at the flow. As you saw before, it basically retrieves the accounts, uh, loops over them, and then for every account, it calls the execute NBA strategy flow action. So this is essentially a flow action that calls the exact same endpoint up in, on the Salesforce cloud as the dedicated NBA component. Uh, that you can add to a lightning page. It's calling the same endpoints, getting back recommendations, it counts them, and if there's at least one, it sets the checkbox to true. So then, you know, we move on. The actual strategy that um, is running on the home page simply looks for those accounts and then uses the map element in Strategy Builder to convert each account to the, the recommendation structure that the NBA uh, component expects.
and here's how the this is this is how the mappings work to create those recommendations. You can see that the uh, the recommendations called the navigate to record flow, and if we go look at that flow, you can see that it's actually incredibly simple. It simply uses this local flow action called navigate. Uh, if here it's labeled navigate to record, the name of the component is navigate everywhere. Um, and the only caveat about this is these navigation actions only work in the modern one dot app lightning runtime, which means that you, they will not work if you're running them from the flow debugger or from the run button inside of flow. So if you're not getting that navigation, go check the documentation for the navigate everywhere record um, and that will help. So hope this is useful. Thank you very much.